Fractal put out two firmware releases last Friday, January 27th. Firmware 6.01 for the FM3 and 21.02 Beta 2 for the Axe FX3. I'm doing a review of the Axe FX3 firmware tomorrow, so I thought I'd do a quick review of 6.01 today for the FM3, showing the goodies that came with it. All right, let's switch over to FM3 Edit. I put together a preset that includes the new 59 Base Guy reissue jump type in the amp block. Right there. And while we're at it, we'll test out the new wah type, the Paragon. That's all in scene one. I'm also using the new drive type, the bosom boost, in channel A. That's scene two. We're also testing the USA Rhythm 1 amp type to see if there's any tone without input. That's scene three. Now we're testing the clone Chiron for corrupted audio as a result of attaching a modifier to a drive block parameter. That's scene four. And as you can see, we attached a modifier to gain. If you go in and take a look at it, it's external one. Now the speaker impedance curve is for the 4x10 bass guy. So I opened the cab block and used the picker to find factory tune number 197, a 4x10 bass guy 57. And I changed the IR length from standard to ultra res. The delay block is using the digital mono type and the reverb is using the studio type. Now since the bosom buddy is in channel A of the drive block, and the clone Chiron is in channel B, I can switch back and forth from scenes two and four in FM3 edit to test for pops. Let's do that right now. No pops. Now if we go to setup and take a look at my spillover, it's set to off. So we can test for improvement in the speed of preset changes. <laughs> Now I'll change the spillover to all, and we can see if the delay block delay lines get wiped out or not. Okay, now I'm gonna change my spillover back to off, and we can test out scene one, two, three, and four. Now scene one is gonna use the new 59 bass guy reissued jump type in the amp block. And I will test that with the neck pickup turned down and then I will hit it with the bridge pickup turned up and then we'll try the new Paragon Wah. Let's try the bosom boost. Okay, now let's switch to the USA Rhythm 1 with no input and see if there's any noise. There's nothing. Okay, we're going to test the clone Chiron for corrupted audio as a result of attaching a modifier to a drive block parameter. That's scene four, so let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, those are the new toys and fixes for FM3 firmware 6.01.
Now that Paragon Wah is way cool, but it has an ultra wide sweep. So don't get freaked out if you go to heel down and you don't hear anything. The signal is there, believe me. Just push up a little bit from heel down and you'll hear it just fine. Now tomorrow I'll be giving out the details on our brand new contest for 2,000 subscribers. Now you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow.